Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with the Boathouse Group. Today we are at the Boathouse of Naples standing on a 2021 Solus 345. In the past we've done a video on one of the early model 345s. So today we're gonna do another walkthrough on, on the same boat. Um, show you a lot of the new options that have been added to the boat, some of the new features. And again, just go over a lot of the ama ma amazing features and benefits that this boat has to offer. So to start off, a question I get quite a bit is why this? Why this extra space in the back? Why the shape of the boat? Is it a catamaran? So just to kind of clear up and answer some of those questions, um, it is a traditional V bottom boat. Um, it, and what this does back here, a couple different things. It gives you one, a lot more space in the transom of the boat. On your tr traditional Euro transom, you're gonna have your splash wall back here. You'll have your fish boxes and live walls here. So where you're finishing up and be actually inside the boat is gonna be about where I'm standing here. So you gain a lot more space in the transom of this boat, whether you are doing any type of fishing, diving, pleasure boating, if you're hanging out at the sandbar at the beach, you've got the additional swim platform off the rear to get you closer. A lot of benefits there. On top of that, by doing this style transom, we've also moved the motors wider um, from one another. Again, some of the features that that's gonna add is better maneuverability around the dock. With having the motors spread out wider, you've got a lot more control, they've got a lot more bite to get you to pivot and move um, when you're doing some close quartering and, and docking. The other benefit of it is a lot of boats with a traditional V bottom, the motors being in the middle are actually lower than the keel of the boat. So your draft is gonna be deeper. With having the motors out wider, the draft on this boat's actually right at two feet, 24 inches. And that is with the motors all the way in the down tucked position. So you don't really have to worry about trimming up your motors. If you're getting anything shallower, you will hit the, the actual um, keel of the boat long before you hit any skegs of your motors. So just doing a quick little walkthrough again on the boat, starting at the very back side of the transom. You have also have this additional swim platform that comes off the back of the boat. It's all power, it's all hydraulic. It'll extend another four foot off the transom of the boat, all the way to the, where your motors mount to. The, this boat is 34 foot in length. You got an additional four foot to the back, making the boat length overall 38 feet and then another four foot swim platform that is great for whether you're doing anything at the beach or sandbar, or if you're doing any diving. You're boarding on and off the boat way away from the motors, you're in the center of the boat, so you've got better stability, plus with having the seat keeper on board, you're, you're gonna have even more stability on that boat. So, stepping forward a little bit from here, um, inside of here, we've got our full raw water management system in here. So on a boat of this size, with all the systems like Sea Keeper, your AC unit, everything like that, typically the boat's gonna have quite a few um, seacocks and, and fittings through the boat for water pickup. In this, you got two main intake strainers that all of your raw water comes up through and fills this section here, which is, which is like a molded in um, sea chest. What that does then is it's a pressurized water cell that's then gonna feed everything from your live wells and tuna tubes to your sea keeper, to your AC, the whole nine yards. But it gets a lot less seacocks in the boat, a lot less holes in the bottom of your boat for in water intake, raw water intake, as well as if you ever have any issues, you know right where to go. It is all right here, very well labeled, the whole nine yards. Close that back up. On either side of this, you're gonna have nice, large, flip-down seats, plenty of room for two. As you saw there as well, the, the backrest lifted up, so it is a very nice, comfortable seat. I'm six foot, the backrest is at my shoulder blades, so it's a lot more supportive, as well as when you're sitting here, you're behind the console, so you're out of the way of the wind, you're out of the way of the elements, just becomes a much more comfortable ride. So you've got these seats on either side. On the outside of those, you're gonna have your dual, you're gonna have your dual live wells, 45 gallon live wells, dual tuna tubes in front of them. So again, very nice, well set up boat for fishing, diving, cruising, the whole nine yards. Inside of this hatch is where we've got our Sea Keeper 2. All of our batteries for the full system 
Another upgrade that they did for 2021 is they went to a new inverter system. That a new inverter system just seems to power up the systems a lot better. Um, the AC runs longer on it. A bunch of benefits there. Your full battery management systems on this backside wall. Power steerings for the Mercury's or Yamaha's all right inside of there. As well as you've got this nice little storage for all of your seats up here. Something Solus does unique in the industry. All their seats are on magnets. So all you got to do is pick them up. You don't have to worry about snaps or anything like that. They stick down, pick up, or if you're going to storm away, they'll slide right down in, in these compartments, store out of the elements, out of the way, whether you're fishing, storing the boat, whatever you're looking for there. Close that back up. On either side of the, the console here, we've got two large fish boxes. They're both going to have gulper drains on them. Very, very large, fully insulated, great spot for to keep your ice, keep your fish, the whole nine yards there. Back here, we're going to have our sunshade, push button sunshade comes out off the T-top, makes for a really nice, comfortable cruising day, or if you're sitting in the back here, you've got the shade from it. Pull your step out, now you got a really nice rear-facing mezzanine seat. In the other video that you saw from us, we had that power mezzanine seat that came out of the floor. They've gone to this option mainly because if you're doing any trolling or um, fishing, a lot of people like to get up a little bit higher for a little bit better visibility. So sitting up here, plenty of visibility. You're not losing any storage space for the tackle space. Um, and, and you can you know hold on. It's a very comfortable spot in the shade. Well set up there. Around this step, you got plenty of large drawers, nice deep drawers all throughout, different storage options on either side as well. And then you've also got the pickup for your summer kitchen. You've got your sink, grill set up here, additional prep, prep sink there, um, what, as well as on the top sides, you're gonna have cutting boards and everything like that. Close that back up. Walking around now to the console, to the, to the helm, on either side of the console, you're gonna have two large 65 uh, quart Yeti coolers. And then coming in here, it's where you start to see a lot of the features on this boat. One th thing that Solus really wanted to do is not miss out on a lot of features being a very, very feature rich boat. All their seats are all on shockwave suspension seating. The whole flooring in, in here is all in a mitigation system. So if you're spending a long time out in the water, very, very comfortable in terms of dampening any of the vibration or waves or anything like that that you're gonna feel, really, really comfortable. Or it's also got the option to raise up out of the floor at the helm. That way in case you're in any rough seas or not quite as tall, you've got a variable height platform that lifts up as the captain so you can see all around this. Another great feature, wind, the windshield. Doherty's been known for always having solid windshields that can move out of the way to get you more airflow. Same thing goes here. At a push of a button, this windshield will open up. You can run the boat at any location, but if you're idling or trolling and it's a nice hot day, get plenty of that airflow in. If it's a little bit cooler, you can just crack it just to get some airflow. You know, you can control that completely. At the dash here, we've got two large 17-inch displays. Our full Mercury control display there, JL Audio, Zip Wake, that's your trim style of trim tabs. Um, got dual wireless phone chargers, joystick controls, spotlight controls, the whole nine yards there. Another great thing is all of your switching and everything is all done digitally through these Garmin's. You can go through different screens and see all of your switching. And then depending on where you're at on the boat, as you saw me open up the sunshade in the rear, um, control different stuff here, whether it be the windshield. Um, you've got different control panels at each portion of the boat to give you different buttons to be able to control where you're at on this boat. So a lot of great features here at the helm. Plenty of storage on either side, storage underneath the seat. Another big thing that if you see on a, on a Solus is gonna be the storage aspect of them. 
Solus prides themselves on having dedicated storage for everything. So on either side of the helm here, you're gonna see storage for your um, fire extinguishers. Obviously all this is your power control panel and everything right there as well. But they're a big believer in getting everything off the deck, having a dedicated spot for everything so you know where it's truly at. Same thing on the gunnel sides, as you can see, you're gonna have multiple storage locations all up and down the side, whether it be for some dock lines, um, you know, different storage and all these, different styles of trays. Up in the front here, you'll have longer storage. Here you've got your tackle storage. Everything is easily accessible on either side of the, the on the walls here. Moving up a little bit for, further forward, nice large day bed with wireless or just sorry uh, waterproof phone chargers usb chargers on either side this full day bed up front here is a full memory foam day bed so the longer you sit in it the more comfortable it's going to end up being as well as full wraparound seats up on the front side here one hand design lifts them up going to be insulated boxes whether that you're using that for dry storage or for an additional ice storage fish box Nice little grab handle and some area from storage on the outside if you've got a towel that you want to throw there, a book, magazine, anything like that. Again, back to something Solus does, all those magnets. Everything pulls off nice and easy. If you're fishing the boat and don't, and don't want any of your cushions there, you're not going to be tripping over or stepping on snaps. There's nothing there on the floor. It's all on magnets. When you're ready to put them back in there, they'll magnetize right to the location where they need to be. Moving up a little bit further forward, anchor locker up front here. Really nice large anchor locker with dedicated fender storage. You can fit two fenders on either side. They slide back into the sides of the boat. Really nice, again, a dedicated spot for storage. You're not looking, where is this gonna be? You're not taking up you know, in-floor storage for your bigger, bulkier items, anything like that. Nice large storage here in the floor as well. All macerated. So that's a quick overview of the outside. I'll show you down below in the uh, cabin as well here in a minute. Um, attention to detail wise, this boat really checks all the boxes off. You know, from everything from all of your little roller catches, makes doors close really nice and easy. Wireless, I mean, a waterproof chargers, the memory foam bed, the, all the amenities at the helm. They really, really pride themselves on making sure the consumer, no matter what they're doing, is gonna be very happy and comfortable in the boat, whether that be cruising, fishing, diving, the whole nine yards. Stepping back a little bit further here, this door here is way oversized for the size space that you have. If they were to put it on a standard style hinge, it would never open all the way for you to be able to get in there. So they've designed this custom hinge that allows that door to swing all the way around to the side and give you plenty of access in. From there, you can then step down, grab this handle, and the door closes really nice and easily. Down here below, nice seat if you need to change or anything like that, as well as you can flip it to the down position and create yourself a bed down below here. Um, plenty comfortable for one, two if you're comfortable with one another, um, as well as plenty of rod storage in the floor, Toilet set up there, nice little sink, uh, microwave, all that is right down there, easily accessible, all LED lit, very, very comfortable down there. And as you may have seen on the other side, it's got that, that glass that you can't really see in from the outside, but it gives you the feeling of a lot more space on the inside. So again, Solus is an unbelievable company in terms of their fit and finish, their attention to detail, you know, everything down to their full build construction, doing the carbon fiber and negger fiberglass hull design makes it very strong, but a little bit lighter. Full carbon fiber build on their console T-tops, again, lightens that all up so that center of gravity is gonna be lower on the boat. And they really wanted to pack this boat full of features between different hydraulic pumps that they need, electric stuff, shockwave seating. So they did that all the carbon fiber to make that boat still a, a light enough boat to perform well, be fuel efficient without going completely overboard and having a super heavy boat. This boat fully loaded is only going to be around 14,000 pounds, 
Whereas if they would have done a standard fiberglass hull design, it'd have been north of that 20,000 pound mark. So just a bunch of little stuff that has come together to make this just one incredible boat. So if you have any other questions about this boat, feel free to check us out on our website, www.boathouseh2o.com. Stop in any of our stores, talk to any of the, the sales team, or uh, give us a call. We're gladly here to help you and get you on the water in your dream boat. Again, my name is Jeremy Eck. Thanks for joining me today.